today's video is going to be my must-have, absolute all-time favorite drugstore makeup products. I didn't want to just show you all the products, so I went and purchased all of them brand new for you guys. I thought I would, I would incorporate like a little giveaway too. But I went and bought the cutest makeup bag, and I actually bought one for myself as well because I just think it's so adorable. And then I just filled it with all of my absolute favorite drugstore makeup products, which they're all falling out, and I will show you in this video. I think I want to do a similar video to this, but with all of my favorite high-end products, and then incorporate a giveaway just like in today's video. So thumbs up if you want to see a high-end version of this. And I'm also going to be doing a nail art essentials, all of the products I think you need to create pretty much any nail art tutorial that you watch. So, thumbs up if you would like to see those. And I'm also going to be having a smaller little giveaway on my Facebook and Twitter, but I will get into all of that at the very end of the video. So I am just going to get started in showing you all of my favorite drugstore makeup products. The Maybelline Colossal Volume Express Mascara is my all-time favorite. I have tried high end, low end, every end. This is the only one that I ever use. It's the one that I always come back to. I get it in the classic black. I've got glam black as well, but I... There's honestly not a difference in the two colors. So I got you guys a classic black. I wear this mascara every single day and it's just the best ever. If you do want to go out and try this mascara, give it about a week before you give up on it because whenever I repurchase these, I don't really love it until about a week into it. The formula is a little bit thin at first, but once you start to get air in there and you use it for about a week, then it becomes like the most amazing formula ever. It's just thick enough, but not too thick and it just makes your lashes look amazing. So this is the first item in my all-time favorite must-have drugstore picks. Okay, so my second item is a concealer in hands down the best drugstore concealer ever. Unfortunately, you can only find it at Walmart, so I did have to make a special trip for it today, but I featured this in videos, um, and I bought it in the shade light, and then I thought maybe not everyone is a light, so if the winner wants a darker shade, then just let me know and I'll exchange it. But yeah, I bought it in the shade light. It's the Hard Candy Camouflage Concealer, and I'm not even kidding you, the littlest amount goes the longest way. I have had one of these for like a year and a half, I think. It's probably coming up on two years now, and it doesn't even seem like I'm halfway through. It'll probably like expire before you actually finish it. Like it is just, you need the smallest amount. The second must have item, and the second item you guys will be receiving. The third item, I'm actually wearing it today, and it's kind of replaced my high-end favorite eyeliner, which you guys know is the Stila Smudge Stick Liner in Stingray. Unfortunately, that one is $20, and I go through it so quickly, so I was desperately searching for something that was comparable. It's the L'Oreal Carbon Black Intense Liquid Pencil Eyeliner, which I always thought was kind of weird because it's a pencil and they call it a liquid pencil, but it's seriously so dark. It works amazing on your waterline. If you're looking for the perfect ultimate rich dark black eyeliner this one is definitely it I featured this in a favorites video in a lot of tutorials it's the best drugstore black eyeliner it also has a really big smudge like a i call it a smudge stick smudger included it says on the bottom of it which i love for smudging out the eyeliner on my upper lash line so you can kind of blend it into your lash line and you don't really tell that you can't really tell that you're wearing eyeliner up there so i highly, highly recommend this eyeliner and next is bronzer. You guys know I love me some bronzer, and my favorite one is by Wet n Wild, and it's the Bikini Contest bronzer. First of all, it's really, really big, which is great. It's very inexpensive, which is, of course, great. It is so pigmented, so if you do want to try this out or you do win this, make sure to use a super light hand. Like, don't just take your regular bronzing brush and put it straight to your cheek. You want to barely dust it on your cheek because it's that pigmented, and you don't want to look like you have, like, dark dirty cheeks or something just the best drugstore bronzer it has spf in it too and it smells really really good and it's super inexpensive and it's my ultimate drugstore favorite bronzer okay so next i had to include a nail polish and if you follow my videos closely you already know what color this is because i've talked about it in so many videos and it's not only my favorite drugstore nail polish it's probably my favorite nail polish of all time, including OPI and all of the higher end nail polishes. This is probably my number one favorite. And it's Sally Henson Pacific Blue. It is the prettiest royal blue, but it's super bright. And it just, when you get it on your nails, it takes on like a color of its own. And it's just, I cannot even explain to you how amazing and beautiful this is and how many compliments I get whenever I wear this. And if you don't win this little giveaway that I'm doing, seriously, go to the drugstore, pick this guy up. It's only two between 2 and $3 sometimes. I don't know why certain drugstores have like different prices, but it's really inexpensive, the prettiest color of all time, so I had to include this in the video and the giveaway. Okay, for blush, one of my favorites, which recently became a favorite, actually a couple months ago, I featured it in a favorites video and a tutorial, I think. It's the L'Oreal Visible Lift Color Lift blush in the color coral lift 
and it's just like a um, golden peachy pink color and I like it because it's not really a cream it's kind of a cream when you put it on but it dries into like a powder finish and it's really reflective it looks amazing as a blush or as a highlight you can kind of just put it on your cheekbone it's a little bit on the more expensive side for drugstore products I think it's about $13 but it's totally worth it it's just so versatile because you can use it on the apples as a color as a blush or just as a highlight because um, it's kind of reflective as well but not like shimmery or sparkly it's just more like a sheen like you're glowing so it's one of my favorite drugstore products for your cheeks okay so for the lips I honestly don't really have a favorite drugstore lipstick so I didn't include any because I just don't have any like I have ones that I like here and there but none that I'm like this is my favorite of all time so if you have a favorite drugstore lipstick let me know what it is in the comments because I just can't find something that I love that much but I do have a favorite drugstore lip gloss which I'm wearing today I wear it in so many of my videos and it is the NYX Mega Shine Lip Gloss in Nude Peach and you can get these at Ulta and they are just amazing they smell amazing they smell kind of like fruit punch or like a Jolly Rancher or something they're just the best the applicator is nice, the color is really pigmented. It's definitely up there with my Buxom lip glosses and you guys know how much I love those, so love this lip gloss, had to include it. So I didn't make the mistake of purchasing one of these for you guys, but I did want to include it. So whoever the winner is of this giveaway, um, just I'll have to actually email you and you're gonna have to tell me what color you want of this because it's a very personal thing and it's foundation. And my favorite drugstore foundation is the Revlon Nearly Naked. I have talked about this, I think in my last month's favorites video, but it's super light. I usually don't go for liquid foundation just because I feel like it's sometimes a little heavy or I can feel it on my skin. It's kind of high maintenance in my opinion to apply it and stuff, but this one is definitely worth it. It's very, very light on your skin and you get good coverage. You can kind of do two layers. If you're looking for a full coverage, you can do two layers and it's not going to look cakey and you'll get your full coverage. I like to do just one layer and it gives me a medium coverage, which it's just so nice and breathable and so many liquid foundations aren't that way. And so I love the Revlon Nearly Naked. So whoever the winner is, you're just going to have to tell me what shade you want, but I had to include this because it's amazing. So moving on to one of my favorite products ever of all time, the Ardell Demi Pixie Lashes. This is what they look like. These are my favorite lashes ever. I love them because they're long, just long enough to really give you a nice effect, but they're not too long where they look like really fake lashes, but they're also not too short because I've purchased a lot of fake lashes where you honestly can't even tell that I'm wearing them and then I feel like I just wasted my money. And these ones definitely give you the good, you know, impact of having nice full lashes and long lashes, but they don't look really obviously fake. So that's why I love them and I had to include these. So moving on to eyeshadow, my favorite drugstore shadow is by Wet n Wild and I just, I love all of the different little trios that they have but I wanted to include my favorite of the moment which is the I'm Getting Sunburn little trio mainly because I love this gold shade on the lid. You can put the dark shade in your crease under your lash line if you want a pop of color. You can put the lilac color underneath your lower lash line or you can put it all over your lid if you want a lilac lid and then put the bronze color in your crease instead of the dark color in your crease. It's just really, really versatile. Out of all drugstore eyeshadows, Wet n Wild has the best pigmentation that I've ever found. They last the longest. They're one of the least expensive, which just makes it even better. So it just goes to show that price always doesn't equal quality because they're so pigmented and I've paid like triple the price at the drugstore for eyeshadows where you get like no pigmentation. You like don't even see the eyeshadow and it's so disappointing. So any Wet n Wild eyeshadow is going to be really nice and I definitely would recommend them. But the one that I'm loving and that I'm including in the little giveaway is the I'm Getting Sunburn Trio. Okay, and I also had to include my favorite chapstick of all time, which is Burt's Bees, just the regular form formula. I've tried all the different flavors and the different formulas that they have and I don't like any of them compared to just the regular minty original formula. I've tried so hard to get into like the EOS lip balms and the Nivea Kiss of Honey and all of those lip balms and chapsticks that everyone seems to just love so much. And I just can't get into them. For some reason, I always feel like they dry up my lips. And I just always go back to Burt's Bees. It's my absolute favorite. I haven't tried this. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to send you this little giveaway because it's going to be your new favorite chapstick. Okay, and then I bought this really gorgeous Sonia Kashuk makeup bag. I bought one for you guys and one for myself because it was just so beautiful. My favorite color is green. It also has a gold zipper detailing, which I love gold over silver any day. And I love that it has two separate compartments, so you can really separate this for travel or even, you know, just storing your makeup in. I love that you can really put a lot of stuff in here because it has the little pieces of fabric, so your stuff isn't going to fall out when it's all the way unzipped. And it just has, like, the prettiest little, like, lime green... Um, zipper handles that say Sonia Kashuk 
and it's just beautiful and I just got this at Target so if you want to purchase this yourself if you're not entering the giveaway or whatever um, you can get this you can find this at Target and I believe I paid about $15 for this so totally worth it the quality is amazing I think it's a perfect makeup bag for spring and summer so I hope that you guys like it too because I know like makeup bags they're kind of personal. Well, not personal, but everyone has different tastes. So I hope that you like the makeup bag that I picked out for you guys. If you would like to win the makeup bag full of all of my favorite products, all you have to do is be subscribed to both of my YouTube channels. So this channel that you're watching and also my vlog channel, Miss Jim Vlogs. And then all you have to do is leave a comment down below on this video telling me your favorite drugstore makeup products. And I hope that I can find some new ones that you guys recommend. Also, don't forget to thumbs up the video and like it. And that's pretty much all you have to do to enter this giveaway. And I will write all of that down below too. I purchased doubles of three of my favorite things that I already showed. So a Pacific Blue Nail Polish, the Colossal Volume Mascara, and a Nude Peach Lip Gloss. So I'm going to be giving away these three little guys on my Facebook page. When you enter the giveaway on my Facebook page, leave your tw Twitter handle as your entry. That way when I pick a winner, I can make sure you're following and liking my Facebook page all at the same time. I just kind of wanted to get like all of my social networks involved because it's just a lot more fun and it gives you guys more chances to win. Love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and subscribing and I will talk to you guys very, very soon.